Hello, and welcome to my video. Let's talk about grant proposal, beekeeping project grants for raising honeybees. Beekeepers are struggling to save the honeybees from a variety of threats. In 2006, a quarter of U.S. bee colonies were vanished by a strange disease called colony collapse disorder. Moreover, the attack of Africanized bees and disease spreading mites, the entire situation becomes a matter of shocking. To tackle this situation, different types of grants money provided for beekeepers, such as federal grants, state grants, or corporate grants, beekeeping project grants and so on. Project Grants for Raising Honeybees A large portion of American agriculture depends on honeybees. According PBS, honeybees pollinate one-third of agricultural produce in the U.S. To tackle the above-all situation, federal and state governments, independent organization and some other corporations offers grant money. They try to raise honeybees and develop scientific research on honeybees to find ways to save them. Grant Proposal If you want to submit a grant proposal you have to check the eligibility at first. A proposal without checking the eligibility, the possibility is that your proposal will be rejected. So, it's wise to check it prior to submit. Project Grants for Raising Honeybees Number 1 Nonprofit and private organization. Some nonprofit and private organizations like churches, foundations, clubs, and professional associations provide grants money for beekeepers. Some organizations distribute grant funds to beekeepers from another organization. It's mentionable that in 2010, Marla Spivak was awarded a genius grant of $500,000 from John D and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. She was a professor of apiculture at the University of Minnesota. She awarded this grant for her works on breeding pests and disease control of honeybees. Number 2. Federal Grants, Under SER Programs, the U.S. Department of Agriculture offers grants to farmers, producers, and students. They also offers non-profit and research areas for pest and weed management in addition to crop and livestock variety and marketing. The USDA offers several agriculture marketing service grants, like Organic Certification Cost Share Program. This program offers to organic producers and handlers through the state to compensate some costs of organic qualification. Number 3. State Grants Many states provide grant money to beekeepers or distribute federal grants assigned to them. The Tennessee Department of Agriculture provides 50% of cost share grant to qualified beekeepers for expanding and improving pollination and honey production under Tennessee Agriculture Enhancement Program. Maryland, New Jersey, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, and Connecticut offer equipment and colony stipends, raffles or door prizes to beginner beekeepers, according to USA Today. Number 4. Corporate Grants. Hagen Das, Burt's Bees and many other similar companies donated thousands of dollars to scientific research on beekeeping and safeguarding of honeybees. Since 2008 in Pennsylvania State University and the University of California at Davis, Hagen Das has donated $620,000 for honeybee research purpose. Similarly, Burt's Bees also provided a grant to a non-profit organization devoted to the health of North American pollinators. It was an initiative of the Pollinator Partnership and Honeybee Health Improvement Project. Number 5. Rural Enterprise Grant The USDA started granting in rural projects to help small business entrepreneurs in rural area. This grant ranges from $10,000 to $500,000 for small business where employees are fewer than 50 and yearly gross revenue is less than $1 million.
beginners are eligible to avail this fund for apiary. Of course types of business, nationality of applicant, place of apiary etc. are considerable factors for sanctioning this fund. Number 6. USDA Conservation Innovation Grant, Pollinator Initiative. Some states started grants program for protection innovation of bees. This grant is to help small business owners adopt innovation approaches. For more information, please visit our website thebinfo.com. Thanks for staying with us. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Please click the link in description for more information. Bye.